Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, back at it again with another Mando Friday, but this time on- I'm gonna be switching the series up to be now every Monday, basically because I can do spoilers then, because that's when the spoiler bans lifted, plus I want to do all the other things, so again, um, spoiler bans already been lifted, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, um, and if this is the first spoiler, I'm sorry, but you know, it's been lifted, it's Monday. I'm just so excited. The Mandalorian recent episode was great. Let's get on into this. So here we have our custom minifigure showcase for episodes, I believe, four and five, I, I believe. Um, th those are the two most recent ones. Plus, I have a special figure, which you don't see now. Um, that is from episode three, but that is because um, I forgot to do him in the last one because I was so pumped. But yeah, so, I'm going to be doing a little in-depth look on how you can make your own, um, Mandalorian custom figures from these episodes. And also, and you'll notice we have Admiral Thrawn, we haven't seen him yet, but we did get a name drop, so I, I, I don't think he's gonna change that much in terms of his look. If he does, I'll put him new details in the next one. But with that said, please subscribe, and we'll get right on into it. Here is Lady Tano herself, Ahsoka Tano. Now, this one was interesting. Because Lego is weird. Um, I think the reason they used this head mold for the newest one is because they got too lazy and they didn't want to have to make a new mold um, that's smaller. Uh, because, like, they made a really long one for Rebels. And they're, I, I feel like they'd stick with it if they were ever to make a real Ahsoka from uh, this season. Um, and they probably just used the one we got a while ago. But if you want, like, a more size-accurate representation of how it would actually look would be something more along the lines of this. This figure um, would be much more accurate with these Montrals, and if they had, like, the little, if she had the little band on them, then she'd be fine. But, you know, LEGO wouldn't do that, so I think this is, um, the more accurate one, and obviously the more accessible one that everyone, I assume, has. Um, so yeah, so you do that. I gave her the Jin Urso's Grey Cape, um, I won't believe Cape Canty has made one yet, but these are really easy, and if you don't need it on, you want her to take it off, you do this too. Now, I gave her Barris Offie's, um, torso, actually. I didn't give her her old torso, just because, you know, it, it was different. And I think this was the best to capture it, uh, Barris Offie's torso. I gave her some Firestar Toys arm printing, um, with the, her, uh, arm bracelets things. And I think that was just neat. Um, I gave her Count Dooku's lightsaber and a regular lightsaber because she has a, uh, regular one and then she has like a curved one and i couldn't find the other curved type one so i think count dooku's also worked but it's shiny and then also i gave her just like plain imperial officer type legs because i think that just worked the best and it gave her the best like you know detail i think she looks better honestly with the uh cape or with the yeah with the cape over her and i think that just works better generally and with this um, it's, it's a decent figure. I actually am really happy with how this came out. Obviously, it has the head detail. I know a lot of people aren't happy at how high up this is. It should have been lower. I agree. Let's move into the next one, which is, I believe, Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon we saw in a, in a bit of episode 3, and I believe in episode 4 or 5, the one with... We saw him and him in the one with Bo-Katan, as well as the one with, uh, the Cara Dune and, uh... Grief Karg and all them, and Navarro. But yeah, so this is obviously a Firestar Toys custom. Uh, everything about it's custom. If you want uh, any of this, um, uh, obviously except for the hair, but if you want this, uh, make sure to check out my link in the description. I have a code for them. But yeah, this is really cool. So they use, the, obviously, the select back hair piece. They use uh, this custom printed face. I need to do this now. Um, a custom printed torso. You can also use the one from Rogue One for that. And then they also use this dual-sided cape. I believe this is an official Lego cape. Um, I could be wrong though, but yes, that's very cool, and they also use, obviously, the highlight of this figure is the Dark Saber. Now, the Dark Saber is sick, and they sent me this for free, by the way, so again, huge thank you to them. But here's the Dark Saber. It is sick. It comes with uh, all the little detailing, and it's just awesome. With that being said, let's move on to the next one. I have modified my Beskar Mando uh, in a number of ways. Now, obviously, the torso has been kept pretty much the same. The helmet's been pe kept pre pre yeah, kept up pretty much the same. Sadly, I still obviously don't have the new 2021 uh, Mando yet. I'll probably get that once they're on shelves. All the other people are getting them. But yeah, so instead, I gave him the Shadow Trooper legs, which is sick. I gave him Django's torso. I gave him my own custom-designed, hand-drawn arm it, it's terrible um and i gave him obviously his old helmet and what i did for the cape this time was i used cape cantina's new um capes with like the little holes and the little it's gray it's his uh 
season two slash Beskar appearance, and it also uh, lines up perfectly with where a really a real Lego one would go. So you know it works great. Um, now it also comes with the holster and everything. If you didn't see um, that video, check it out. These guys are also have a code with me, so if you want to like save some money when you buy them, feel free. And I also gave him this little Beskar staff um, that we see. Uh, chances are we are going to see, or this is my guess anyway. I don't. I don't know. Tell me, come back and tell me if I'm right. But we're gonna at one point or another in this season see you know Dark Saber versus Beskar Steel. That that, that would be sick. Um, because you know Mandalorian Metal versus Mandalorian Lightsaber. Yeah. With that being said, let's move into the next figure. Next up, we do the character we haven't seen yet, but it is Grand Admiral Thrawn. I also decided not to do his little apprentice lady. I, I don't I don't know who that lady was, and I just didn't aspire to do her that much because it was either do her or do uh. Uh, this guy, and he, he was a lot easier to do, uh, yeah, but yeah, so here is Thrawn, and he also looks cooler, by the way, um, and yeah, so he comes with these special, uh, I believe this is from the Rebels, uh, Scout Trooper leg printing, his, uh, for his Imperial officer uniform. I gave him these little HUD tails. I don't imagine him changing that much, so if we see him in this season, great, if not, then I don't know. I'd be shocked if we see him. We may see Ezra, which would be sick, actually. Uh, because this is, remember, Mandalorian is only a few years after that end scene in Rebels. So this is probably like five years after. So that means that Ezra could still be out there with Throne, which is uh, sick. I, and I love that. So honestly, with that said, let's move into Groku. Here is Groku, ladies and gents. Um, he is adorable, let me just say. Um, obviously, um, Groku, I love the new name. Or, not new name, but this has apparently been his name. He was a Jedi at the Jedi Temple. That's sick. I would have never guessed that, and that's just awesome. Now, he, you know, maybe... Well, obviously, Yoda had to know about him, which makes me wonder. I, I actually don't want to think about it now. But yeah, so he comes with Cape Cantina's new Baby Yoda cape. It comes with all special printings. I featured this in my Cape Cantina showcase video. Um, the cut, I re released it a few days ago. But yeah, it's sick. I love it. Uh, he must have not changed clothes that much in the last 50 years, which, ew, it's kind of smelly. But yeah, so that is my little uh, Gor Groku. Uh, or Gr Gorku. It's going to be weird now have it, having to call him that instead of Baby Yoda or the child. Because nobody calls him the child. Everyone calls him Baby Yoda. But now everyone's going to have to call him Groku. Okay, let's move into the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Pershing. Now, this uses, I believe, this is Bodhi Rooks. That, that's his name, uh, hell, uh, headpiece and hair from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Um, I, I like that movie a lot. And it comes with also an Imperial officer, um, like torso and leg print. Obviously, there's a back print. And also, if you want, I guess if you don't want to have gla glasses, that, that works too. Because they look, I guess, very similar. If I'm being completely honest, they look like very similar. Um, I think I would have maybe had, like, they would, he would have obviously had smaller glasses. But this is obviously the best looking head for this type of a figure. I think it looks great, and I think we should move into the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Grief Karga. Now, this had to be one of the most interesting figures I put together. Um, obviously, he uses the head and hands from his official figure in the Razor Crest, and the legs from the Razor Crest as well. And the torso is actually a piece from Jafar from... Uh, the Aladdin CMF, or, or the Disney CMF series, which is really cool. And the way he got this cape is from the Cape Cantina. I took his Anakin cape and basically just took the outside of it. So if you're watching this, Mr. Uh, cape Cantina, then, uh, Freshy, then here it is. It's on him. It works pretty well. So I, I really like that. I think it works. It's a nice, easy fix. Uh, if you want to get that, again, link's in the description. Let's move in to Captain Blue Jean. Captain Blue Jean, or like I like to call him, George. He was in episode 5. Um, he was a mistake. He wasn't supposed to be in there. I like to call him, again, George or Greg. I, I think George is better. Uh, but everyone started calling him Captain Blue Jean. So, you know, obviously we had to give him his blue jeans. He has a watch, but I didn't have a watch. You know, I figured it would be something funny, so he has, like, a little money thing. Because, you know, like, there was the officer that had the Imperial symbol chain. So, you know, he has, like, some, some dough. He, he's racking it in, but I am so happy to finally make him. I wanted to do this. That was why I wanted to do another minifig showcase, just to make him. I know it's weird. Um, but yeah, there, there is Captain Blue Jean. I was trying to find my jean piece. Like, I had a specific jean, like, print and everything. Couldn't find it. Let's move in to Cara Cynthia Dune. Cara Cynthia Dune of Alderaan, apparently. Um, now, obviously, nothing's really changed here, because Lego did a really good job with this figure. Um... Uh, she is from Alderaan. Uh, Gina, she play, is played by Gina Carano. Obviously, that's very cool. 
Um, she has, I think that's her little rebel symbol, but you can't really see it well. Um, but yeah, she is a really cool character. Nothing really changed from the official Lego one, because that one's just good. I recommend if you haven't gotten that set, the ATST Raider. Uh, it's been on sale for 40 bucks. I don't know if it still will be on Cyber Monday when this video drops. But yeah, it's a, it's a great set, uh, or it's a great figure. I love it. Uh, great detailing. I haven't changed anything about it except giving her a different pistol. Let's move into the final one. This is this is Mr. Long Live the Empire. Um, this is the guy who, you know, had to shoot his uh, friends because Long Live the Empire. And then he, like, tried to suicide bomb, and then he took a suicide pill. I couldn't think of a good name for him. I, I don't know his name, so I just... I'm saying that. But yeah, so here, he has, like, the First Order Officer polybag, um, print he head print, because it comes, like, I thought this just worked the best. I tried to find the one from Rebels, but, you know, this works too. Um, I, I, I like it. Um, obviously just a regular Imperial Officer, and that's about it. With that said, let's move into the outro. There it is, ladies and gents, your guide on how to, uh, make and do all of the Mandalorian Season 2 episodes, I believe, Parts of three through uh, six sets, or, or figures. But yeah, so with that said, I would really appreciate your, your subscription. I really hope you enjoyed. I have been a huge fan of the new season with Groku, Ahsoka, Kara, um, Cobb Vanth even. We got uh, Carl Weathers. We got Captain Blue Jean. We're going to get Thrawn and Gideon. And we got Dr. Pershing. It, it's been great, honestly. I've been having so much fun with it. And I want to hear what you guys have to say, because I've just been loving it. It's been great. That said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, turn on the bell, do all the other things, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, and stay awesome.